picking it out. I used to, I, I like to smoke crack, which uh, was probably, I mean, that's where, it, that's where I ended up. That, yeah. that, that was my, that was my bottom. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And, and I used to go to this, I used to go to this crack house and uh, May and Terry, they were the, they were two of the heaviest set crackheads that I've ever seen in my life. And they, they, they would shut down the crack house when I would come because they knew I, I was bringing money. Wow. And so um, one day they, one day they stopped me and said, you know, we're worried about you. you know, <laughs> wow. The owners of the crack house <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> told me that they thought I was, they were like, Ed, you're sprung, man. You, you, you're sprung. You're smoking too much. And I was like, well, what, what do you mean? <clears throat> you know, how dare you? Um, wow. So I was, uh, I had been up for like 48 hours or whatever. And I called my acting partner in the morning Cause I knew I wasn't going to make rehearsal that day. And I just was like, Oh yeah, man, I'm not feeling so good. I, I think I've got the flu or whatever. And he said, you know what, Eddie, I'm going to find another acting partner because um, you're not, you're not serious about this. And I am. Mm. And, uh, and that was a, that was kind of a touchstone moment for me. I was like, you know, the, the, uh, the clouds kind of opened up that there and, and uh certainly that was one of them where I was like, yeah, maybe I need to, maybe I need to change my life. 